Alright, so this is a video response to Ziploc Gory's um, art, artists he likes, but he was talking about Jack Kirby, you know, the king. And this got me wondering, what would, if Jack Kirby were still alive, since he died in 1994, I believe, it was either 93 or 94 he, he died, but what if he was, if Jack Kirby was still alive, what would he think of Marvel and DC? I personally think he'd be disgusted. I think he would definitely, you know, be angry with uh, Quesada and Didio. I think he would actually, like, call them, like, he would actually want a word with them and say, y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. Big time. Um, or he could go, like, he couldn't even bother with comics. He could, um, I think he'd be just so mad he'd be done with comics. Um, now, I will admit that he, uh, that, um, this guy, you know, you can't talk nothing bad about the king. I mean, two people. He's one of the two people, along with Stan Lee, and you know, along with Steve Ditko and all them. They made the Marvel universe. They made the Marvel and DC universe. Well, Kirby, the king, he helped make the foundations for the Marvel and DC universes. So you can't say anything bad about him. Um, I don't know how he would take his where why they were taking his creations to whole new levels. I don't think he'd enjoy that. I don't think what he he would like what happened to, um, well actually no Final Crisis I think he would he'd find fun I think he would actually find Final Crisis kind of interesting, uh, but you know the other stuff that Marvel and D that Marvel and DC are currently doing like these constant events and characters dying off and just trying to be too gritty and too dark and too realistic, you know he made comic books fun you know he made comic books what they're supposed to be fun science fiction or mystical stories about characters that, you know, don't really exist. You don't need... And he based them so far off in, in the worlds of science fiction and, you know, mythology that I don't think he wanted them to be... You know, he didn't want them to be, you know, realistic. He didn't want realistic superheroes for the most part. He just wanted... Uh, he just wanted to, uh, you know, make fun. He wanted... It, it, I mean, it's a money-making... Comics are a money-making business, but he wanted to have fun while doing it. You know, I think that's why he created all those, you know, fantastic characters. Like, Galactus is a prime example of this. Galactus is a 40-foot giant man in a purple suit who eats planets through their energy. You know, he absorbs the planet's energy and consumes it. Uh, and, you know, you could really see the inspiration, you know, um, from Kirby, you know... Jack Kirby's, uh, not just his artwork, but his storytelling in his characters of how well he really wanted to branch them out and really, you know, make them not only relatable, but also fant just make them so fantastical, but there's no way to make them realistic, but you can make the, but he made them relatable. You know, that's, I think that's the, that's one thing comics are lacking these days, especially Marvel and DC, is that not a lot of characters, their characters are too realistic but they're not re not very relatable anymore. I think that's the that's a big problem right there. Um, so I wonder. This is a big question because actually, again, I got to thank uh, Zip. You know, Zip Gory, Zip, if you're watching, uh, thank you because this was a big inspiration to help me do this video. And I really think that the King would be so pissed off. Um, you know. I mean, Stan Lee also has some, you know, he has some issues with Marvel nowadays, but he keeps it, but he likes to, you know, he, it's not his business anymore. He like, he's doing his own thing now. And I think if Kirby were still alive, I think he would actually, you know, want to do his own thing, you know, want to work with another company, uh, other than Marvel and DC. I think he would want to work with like someone like somewhere in Boom Studios or something, uh, or, you know, something else, but, uh. Yeah, I think he might actually enjoy doing boom, uh, writing Boom Studios because Stan Lee. I mean, I'm not trying to compare him and Stan Lee, the same, uh, both the same people. Um, but they, ha you gotta admit, Stan and you know the man and the king created, uh, created, co help cre uh, build up comic books basically of what they are. So you can't really deny that. So um, if he, I'd say if Jack Kirby were still be alive, a he'd be pissed off at Marvel and DC now. Two, I think he'd be working with another company or make his own company, you know, you know, be editor in chief of his own company. And three, he'd still, I, I have a good chance that he'd still be trying to make new characters and 
you know, trying and not trying to make them gritty and realistic and dark. He'd just have fun. He'd still be, you know, probably sitting at his desk drawing characters and see what kind of fantastical ideas. There's a word I don't use much. Fantastical. What a, what fantastic idea can I have this hero or villain do today? You know, that's what I think. But what do you guys think? Um, if Jack Kirby were still alive, do you think? What do you think he would think of comic books today? Uh, I know it's not a question of the day. But I thought it would just be an interesting subject. So, you guys tell me what you think. Because this, I think this, uh, this subject's been tossed around a few times uh, before. So, I really want to know, what do you think of this? Uh, in fact, if you want to video respond, video respond. But, yeah. Later.